And let's just build up a bit more evidence here. Um, recently, there's been a, a great deal of work on the um, DNA uh, of the British population. And um, two, two major books have come out, The Origins of the British and The, the Blood of the Isles, uh, all within a couple of weeks of each other, um, both looking at the, um, the DNA of the British population um, and looking at people whose grandparents have lived in areas. So you move off modern uh, m movements, you, you slice those off and choose your population uh, and you test their DNA. And by, a by this phylogenetic method, it is possible um, to work out um, uh, the origins of uh, both the mitochondrial DNA and the Y chromosome DNA. Um, and there is one map from the, the, the work of the geneticists uh, which um, describes the movement of people after the Ice Age, when the ice, I should have said that the ice um, uh, in the last Ice Age moved down over most of Europe down this far, and the populations were pushed out into Mediterranean refuges. And then as the ice went back, so the populations moved up and colonized. And what um, the genetics is saying, that there was a major colonization of Britain um, in the Mesolithic period um, from this refuge along the Atlantic seaways. And if you look at the population of the Irish now, the genetics of the average Irish person, 88% of them have um, a genetics which link them back uh, to this movement in the... Um, uh, in the early period, probably in the uh, uh, Mesolithic period, there's some doubt about the exact date. But, uh, and then Welsh, 81% of the population of modern Wales um, relates to um, genetics coming from this area. And even in England, with lots of overlaps of other populations, 68% of our genetics. So in other words, um, the simple story is that um, Brit the, the bulk of the British population... Uh, got into Britain um, in the very early period, the Mesolithic and early Neolithic period, and there was very little overlay of population after that. Um, the old view of continuous migrations of people into Britain in the prehistoric period, great waves of Celts sweeping in, no evidence for it in the genetics at all. And in fact, some Irish um, geneticists have recently done a, a very interesting study looking specifically to try and find um, Central European um, genetic signatures in the Irish population, which they say could represent the, the um, Celts moving into Ireland, there was no trace whatsoever. So in other words, the genetics is suggest, uh, showing that there was no significant movement of people. So you know, we've got to bring all these bits together in a moment.